Hi, boys and girls and parents. This is Ms. Bekovich. I am the librarian here at Cummings Elementary, and I have the pleasure every week of getting to go to pre-K and kinder classrooms to do library lessons this year. And so I wanted to just do a, a little activity and read a story to you for our pre-K kinder roundup today. So let's get started. And I like to usually start off my lessons with a song because I love to do songs and movement activities with the boys and girls. So I thought we would actually do a counting song today. I'm just going to play the audio and you can follow along. We're going to count with our fingers one to ten. So let me start the song and then we'll listen to a story. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do it again. Good job. I hope you had fun counting with me. That's one of my favorite counting songs. Now I actually wanted to read you a story and I have a fun story for us today. It's about an alligator named Alan and it's called Alan's Big Scary Teeth, and it's written and illustrated by Jarvis. So, and this part of the book is the front cover, this is the back cover of our book, and this is the spine which holds it all together, and our spine has the title and who wrote our book. So let's find out why Alan has these big scary teeth, and I know alligators usually always have big scary teeth. So let's see what he does with his big, scary teeth. All right. Here is our title page, Alan's Big, Scary Teeth by Jarvis. Alan came from a long line of scary, very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It was what he did best. So we know from the very beginning, he loves to scare the other animals. He seems happy and proud about that. Alan would start each day polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing each of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. And after practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, grrr, He'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. There's a sign that says, welcome to the jungle. Alan went snap, snap, and grr, grr. He said things like, I'm big, scary Alan. Fear my razor sharp teeth. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and the parrots screech in terrible terror. Eek! Arg! Squawk! Blah ha ha ha! I love being scary, said Alan. And he definitely is. Look at the animals. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back to home to the swamp, relax, finish the crossword in the jungle times, and... 
take out his false teeth. Oh my gosh. Nobody knew that about Alan's false teeth. Good night, teeth. Sweet dreams, my thwewe snappers, Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. Oh my, he definitely doesn't want that secret to come out. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. And dozing in is, is another word for sleeping, boys and girls. Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. Phew! That was close, thought Barry. Just as a set of false teeth fell out of the bush with a very familiar snap, snap. Oh no, Barry found his hiding place. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth! My teeth! Where are my teeth? What could he do? Maybe no one would notice. Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. There he is in the jungle. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and the parrots screech. Are they scared of him? With laughter! Ha 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 ha! Hee hee! Alan just wasn't very scary without his teeth. Fnap, fnap, grrr! He really isn't scary without those teeth, is he? Poor Alan. Oh, look, Alan's feeling sad now. Alan slunk back to the swamp. He had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scary was all he'd ever known. What would Alan do now? Oh, my, I wonder what he's going to do. Poor Alan began to cry just a bit at first, but then the tears kept coming. Where? He howled and yelled more than all the jungle babies put together, and he could not stop crying until... The next morning when all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said Frog. Willie? Really? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot, you have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. Oh, I wonder what their idea is. And he's got the rules right here. Let's see what the rules are so we can get his teeth back. Oh, let's see. So after, so, and so every day after polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle. And he became the gardener, Alan the hairdresser, snappy cuts, and Alan the dentist. Oh, look, he's now cleaning the other creature's teeth. But every night, he became Alan the big, scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. So now he's reading him, telling him scary stories. Bwahahaha! I love being scary, said Alan. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. So he can still be scary. And sometimes he even let Barry borrow his teeth. Grrr. I'm not sure I'd want to put Alan's teeth in my mouth, but I hope you all enjoyed our story, Alan's Big Scary Teeth. And I hope you all had fun. It was good to get a chance to read a story to everyone. Have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you. Bye.